Look at how cool this grab is. The range is so deceptively good. That is like, seriously, this is like the coolest skill on the Avenger. <laughs> Alrighty. Hey, yo, what is up, knights? Aegis Rick here, back with some more DFO PvE on my Avenger. And as you guys can see by my idle animation, we are Second Awakening. And we're also at the uh, power station, so it should be expected that we're already Second Awakening. And guys, man, I'll tell you what, the Second Awakening, if we're just going to talk about that real quick, on Avenger has been the hardest thing in the whole universe. I'm not even going to lie about that. Uh, I, I've never, I've played some weak classes in TOD at like, you know, 75 when I was going to do it. And this one is by far the weakest. I played like my Soulbender, my Battle Mage was pretty weak, but this guy, he was so troubling. And that actually goes based on the skills. Look at how cool this skill is, by the way. Uh, new skill. But yeah, that's just just kind of going off of how his, his kit works. He has slow animations and stuff like that, so he gets punished all the time. Anyway, I don't want to really harp on that. You guys probably tell me otherwise if you main Avenger or something. I just feel like he has a lot of slow animations if he isn't in his first Awakening, which I really like. Here's the other Second Awakening skill. It's kind of like another Screamo attack, which is also pretty useful. Oh, we're going to get AoE. Mmm, good AoE. Uh, that's I, I kind of like the skills that we got for the second awakening I don't I don't really like animations that kind of just dawdle like this one right here You can't cancel it. You got to watch the whole thing and this one's kind of good It has a pretty good animation, but this one's another one's just kind of like Especially when you're not in the transformation the first awakening. It, it, it has like a really long animation um, And the second awakening don't bother with that at all. They're just like, okay, we're gonna give you high burst skills, which is great <laughs> and I think they gave you these long animation skills just because they want you to use this attack, you know, the, the demon thing. But I think too many of them do that. <coughs> and so we are going to show off the second awakening after we show off. Look at how cool this grab is. It really does have a huge range and then do does big AoE. But here's the second awakening, guys. The active, since I am level 81. It is just a hyper claw berserker barrage attack. Finishing move. And it, it can also be used to generate a lot of uh, your demon points back up, which, by the way, the, I think it's my passive that actually gives me the the weird uh, little kind of graphic down here. I, th I think it's really useful, actually. So it's weird. It looks, like, really edgy, but at the same time, it, it tells you more information than the previous gauge, which makes you wonder why they don't just use this gauge uh, before the Second Awakening. Why, why is this a prize that you know how much, like, demon points you have? Like, I have 125 before... It's just a gauge that, like, you have no idea what points you have or how many points you get from skills or how many points you're using on, on your buffs and stuff like that. You can, it's just it's just better that this is like this. It should just be a feature of Avenger. You should never have to question how many points I have and stuff like that, you know? So, um, so it's, it's a good benefit, but I just feel like, why isn't this on the base Avenger class, you know, once you job change? Like, th there should be no reason why it's inconvenient beforehand. So, anyway, we're going to purposely try not to transform this time. Um, just to kind of show off anything that's changed. Nothing's really changed. Um, the, the demon that comes out uh, from your skills, this one right here, uh, is a little bit stronger now, as far as I know. It, it gets a lot of, like, passive buffs. Like, for instance, your Z attack does 10% more damage and stuff like that. But overall, he still plays pretty much the same. Look at how cool this grab is. The range is so deceptively good. That is, like, seriously, this is, like, the coolest skill on the Avenger. <laughs> like, that grab skill really just kind of made it for me. I'm like, damn, that is so awesome. Not as good as Lightning Dance, but, you know, you know, it's up there. It's up there as a cool skill. Just high burst, uh, high utility. That's what I'm talking about. Kind of like Lightning Dance. If Lightning Dance actually killed people at this level, which it does not. You know, I use I use Lightning Dance to level up this whole time. Now it's not actually helping me very much. But um, I've learned a few things, actually. I don't know. Like, this is just some things that you learn while playing. But, but uh, for instance, I use the uh, Painful Rapture a lot to kind of build myself some points and I didn't know that you can actually use painful rapture during animations of your skills so right there I just used it it's on cooldown right now um, but I didn't have to look at the animation of actually you know performing the attack which is cool you, you can be in the, one of your like long drawn out skills and just use painful rapture and get more demon points and that's actually useful because you see if you use painful rapture you actually get a lot of demon points back and that means you can stay in this metamorphosis a lot longer so just something that uh, you know, I just used it right there, just racked it back up, and I'm able to stay in this much, much, much longer. And you know what? If you wanted to, you could just go Second Awakening, which also generates, because it's a lot, like a multi-hit, every hit actually generates more demon points for you. So there's a way, there's a lot of strategies to keeping that, that transformation longer. Not just the First Awakening, which I'm using a lot to level up, but if you want to just stay in that transformation, um, 
you can. It's totally possible using the painful rapture, using your skills, use the second awakening. And in, you know what? If you ever run out, just use the first awakening and it'll push it back up to the full again. So you can just use it again. So it's really awesome kind of uh, ma maintenance, I guess, of the, the demon points. Are you kidding me? I'm running out of quests here. But yeah, you get the idea. It's a very good you, utilization of the demon points and you can keep it up um, throughout the whole dungeon if you want. If you're, if you're really good at actually, you know, keeping your painful rapture up. Thing is, you're going to be losing a lot of uh, HP because if you keep casting it, you're gonna, uh, obviously going to be uh, costing a lot of HP. But at the same time, it might be worth it. Anyway, uh, we're going to use our other strategy here for this dungeon. We are moving on to the Tromba pl Power Plant now. And this is just a more efficient thing for me. Oh my gosh, how cool is that, man? That is just so cool. And I love that. Like, again, going on the point of... I think I mentioned this last time, but, you know, the First Awakening is kind of his call of fame, the Avenger, actually. And it's just so great that, you know, he... He could, he, he, he depends on the First Awakening, but, you know, he, he's not completely useless for that. And he also doesn't augment, or he augments his skills. He doesn't, like, become a new entity like um, like the Battle Mage, you know. Or, like, I was thinking, actually, the Guardian Riding on my Knight, where, you know, I can ride the Pony, but it kind of, like, makes it so I can't use any of my other skills. So it's kind of pointless. So I love the fact that you can augment your, your skills, make them all stronger, so... That's the kind of thing. And I don't feel like he is like my male striker who, like, has 100% reliance on the First Awakening. Like, you know, you, you, you do a lot of damage in this mode. You want to stay in this mode as much as possible. And leveling up this, the First Awakening, or, you know, how it passively levels up. The higher level it is, the longer the duration. So, it's really useful in that sense. But even when you're out of that phase, you know, I just showed you that you can do the whole dungeon without the First Awakening. And, you know... He doesn't have an uber reliance on it, which is great. It's something that I was I was a little bit worried on. I was like, he's a transformation class. Does he need the transformations? He has multiple transformations, so you can just kind of choose, pick and choose which one. Odds are you're not going to want to do the dungeon unless you're in some kind of mode, whether it be, you know, the metamorphosis or the demonized. So, anyway, guys, we're going to jump into our last dungeon. We'll keep going back to town, talking to people. Hopefully this doesn't keep going forever. But uh, at the rate we're going, we're already at Tromba. We'll probably get to like 83 by the time we get to the end here, or by the, by the time we get to, you know, finishing the actual power station scenario, we might be 83, meaning we're going to have to grind a little bit of scenario dungeons, which isn't terrible if you're actually, you know, you really got to come into here like super over level to not be grinding at the end, or just, you know, leech off of people's uh, quests using the chair system, that's also an alternative. Have not been doing that since I've been doing solo play for the most part, but scenarios are still good. If you're playing a character and you're like, okay, I want to take this character a little bit to, to the next level, Haladon farming is another consistent thing that you should be doing, and you're going to need to do scenario anyway, so you can get a little head start while you're leveling, farming those, uh, um, not scenario, the circulation dungeons and getting a bunch of fragments, which is useful. I'm not planning to do that on this character, but it is an option. And we're going to see if we can get him with the second awakening here. And hopefully he doesn't teleport out of here. I think he did, but he teleported back into a deck. Doesn't matter. Claw attack, Berserker Barrage, it's over. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. There was a little bit of Avenger action at the... I think I've showed off all the skills that he can do. And like I said, um, I'm thoroughly surprised that he was not as terrible or as boring as I thought he'd be. He has a lot of managing he has to do, especially with the metamorphosis and the demon eyes, and I really enjoy that. That's something, I mean, I dare say I might enjoy him a little bit more than my EXO, which was just as straightforward, bland as you could possibly be. This one, you know, at the same time, his, his first awakening is really good, so. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I don't know when the next time I'm going to release a video on the Avenger, but he will be max level, and he's going to be the next guy. I have so many guys in max level, man. It feels good, man. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And I will catch you knights. Oh, later. Hey.